What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Double DRC here. Uh, pretty much an update video on my Axio SCX-10. Uh, can't say I've done a whole lot to it. Uh, I haven't really done much for modifications other than some tiny ones that I'll show you here. But I've, I've ran it a lot and I really enjoy it. Uh, it really works well for for what I was looking for uh, and actually it, it's it's better than what I was looking for I was really looking for a truck that that could pull trailers you know do stuff like that because eventually for my other RC's and when I get a boat I would like to build trailers and do them cool videos but uh, just playing with this thing it's been a blast uh, I got some GoPro video that I'm gonna have up here in a little bit to uh, tie into this and uh, I have some video on one of my phones that I'm gonna see how well it uploads uh, I took this out in the snow had a blast with it uh, I've I've ran it through mud I've ran it through water uh, I've run it into a whole bunch of things which actually I'll, I'll show you then but yeah I mean it, it, it's so far I haven't broke anything I've bent some plastic and uh, that I had to remedy but nothing's broke so far so as you can see from the body though it has been through its paces it's a little beat up uh, eventually I do want to get the clear body and I want to redo the paint job for my tow videos because I want to paint it like the color of my truck um, that will happen eventually right now uh, I'm just enjoying playing with them so anyway on to the inside okay so here's the body uh, as you can see my uh, ESC has kind of fell off uh, the tape isn't really doesn't really secure it that well so I have to find a way to secure that uh, which I have not done yet or decided on how I'm going to do it I did add if you can see here I did add a lift kit uh, I believe that I made it too tall uh, it seems that it stretches the drive shafts too much and it has a really a really bad wobble when it's driving so I'm gonna try to lower it a little bit and hopefully we'll see if that takes care of it the problems that I've noticed with this is when it was stock and I would drive it around if it if it hit anything front heavy that right there your steering column is all plastic all that steering linkage is plastic and before I put on the lift kit if you hit hard it would go and lodge behind the frame here now since I put on the lift kit it's not it's obviously not an issue but I still want to replace this eventually and uh, make that all aluminum or steel or whatever I decide to to make it out of uh, lift kit installed really easy I got that off of Tower Hobbies uh, I think it was 25 bucks they're easy to make from what I understand I just didn't I didn't feel like making them I just wanted it so I could put it on and get going uh, everything else is pretty much the same except for these the bottom rods um, what what really got me into wanting to change these was I was I was out running the truck around and I went to hop a curb and what happened was when the front end hit the curb it bent the plastic piece to the point where the front axle wasn't sitting properly so I went ahead and uh, did some research some uh, do-it-yourself videos which there's plenty of them out there on on YouTube uh, if you guys want a video of what I did I can do one of them it, it, it was fairly simple uh, basically I believe it's Terex Revo rod ends is what these are and then uh, it's 8 30 seconds all thread inside here 
and then I just covered it in steel brake line. The biggest issue that I had with this was the measuring and the cutting. Uh, it, it took some time to get, get the hang of it. It wasn't really bad. Uh, I just mocked them up from the plastic parts that they gave me. And uh, that was it. You take, you take the, uh, like a two foot piece of all thread. Yeah, you cut it down to the size you need, adding a little bit to thread into the the rod ends. Cut the steel or cut the steel brake line to fit, or you can get aluminum. I just went with steel brake line because I figured it would hopefully last a, a little bit longer. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, and that was it. And if if any anyone were to bend or break, I could easily make a new one because. I have plenty of the stuff laying around now and I, th I think for the whole thing I may have spent 25 bucks for the whole kit and caboodle. So it wasn't bad, it just it just took maybe, you know, two or three hours of time to, to sit down and figure out measurements and all that other good stuff. But uh, other than that I've been, I've been really pleased with it, I mean I've been, I've been running it a lot uh, and everything so far seems to be good with it. and. Unless something changes, I I really enjoy this. So hopefully soon I'll get the uh, the lift kit adjusted down. The one thing I will notice is uh, within the first two or three times that the joints got wet, they will start to squeak. So I just hit them with uh, WD-40 or something like that, and it seemed to help it. Uh, or the other thing I'd like to do is maybe waterproof grease, put some grease in them, and other than that, it should be fine. Future modifications. I know eventually, after I get I get the the body figured out, I started looking at possibly making my own front bumper. It doesn't seem hard, but again, it's just going to take time. Uh, I did some mock-ups with. The other day I cut out some cardboard and was making some mock-ups to try to find out how it would fit. Uh, so I want to do, obviously, do a, like a aluminum front bumper or, or stainless steel or something like that. Something that looks nice. But obviously I don't want it too heavy because the, the front end of this is already pretty heavy because of the battery. And then uh, I'm going to do a back bumper with a trailer hitch. Uh, I also, with my front bumper... I would like to do a wench setup like you see most people do. Uh, I'm going to fool around with it probably sometime and if if it becomes too much of a hassle I'll probably just end up buying one because they're like 35 bucks. Well that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I'm sure there will be other mods in the future that I'll probably want to try out. Uh, but this is just kind of getting started and this is like I said probably seven months of owning this. But so far, I love it, and uh, that'll be, that's all for me. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Like, favorite, subscribe if you want. Comment, let me know how I'm doing, what you like, what you don't like. Or you don't have to. Thanks for just watching this video. Whatever you'd like to do. What you guys think about this? Uh, if you have a SCX-10 and share your, your stories with me. Because like I said, I'm still learning. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about this stuff, and I'm still getting the groove of it myself. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Well, that's all I got to say about that. Bye.